YouTube, what is up? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. <clears throat> man, turbulent, lightweight, turbulent uh, weekend, man. It's finally Sunday. Finally got uh, all my, this is my first weekly seven. First sneaker rotation, really. I'm going to just call it my weekly seven, but might just put it in parentheses, sneaker rotation. So this week one, and it's the first one. So getting off into it on Monday, what I wore is th this kick. Now, since I'm also still doing on feet and stuff like that, basically are the shoes that I already reviewed, basically, because I'm not I'm not really too much doing on feet of the shoes that I haven't reviewed yet. So, um, yeah. So those are the ones that you're gonna see most likely. So everything that I basically put a um, on feet to, I already got a sneaker review to. So it, just to any new subscribers or anybody that was interested in a certain shoe or whatever, and you just want to hear more about it and just look at it more, I guess you can just check my channel for that particular kick. And uh, so, like I said, first I did the review, then I did it on feet, and um, I hope y'all enjoying that Air Tech Challenge Three. Um, I just posted the on feet today. And, uh, yeah, for Monday, I wore that, the AirTech Challenge 3. So what you're seeing is my on foot from Monday um, that I posted today, Sunday. So, uh, yeah, this was Monday's shoe. And, uh, man, wearing this joint at work, you know, I definitely turned some heads. Uh, you know, <laughs> my manager, of course, uh look at my fit on there too because i had like that's actually a fall essential fit as well that i got um you know with the orange polo up under the purple sweater um you know and black jeans definitely went in with this kind of kick and the colorways on it definitely fresh definitely a slept on shoe um you know couldn't beat the price with a stick man half off literally like within like less than a month or something like that usually it take air tech challenges and these not even highly sought after, like most Agassi shoes or whatever. They usually just sit and, you know, they kind of dwindle down in price. But these, they, they damn near 50% 50, 50 off. I had to jump on it. And I, I've been on the sneaker drought lately, you know what I'm saying? This the shoe that broke my sneaker drought, the Air Tech Challenge 3. And, you know, I had to jump on that. As frugal as I was trying to be. And, you know, like I said, I already got like over 90, over 90 some kicks, so... You know, it was kind of pointless. I mean, I still want to buy other kicks or whatever. It's the sneaker person in me to want to do that. But, man, it's easier to hold out when you already got a kicks already. So, but I still want more kicks, though. Jumping into Tuesday. I'm about to call this the Air Tech Challenge. The Air Jordan 13 Dirty Bread. Um, if I actually had the playoff colorway or... The, you know, the, the actual bread colorway of this, I definitely probably would have wore that as well, too. I just would have broke it down in the span of a week, like, dirty breads, regular bread 13s, then playoff 13s. Definitely a fall shoe, you know what I'm saying? Fire kick. Um, I don't know, at first I was kind of off and on with this red down here at the bottom when I first, first cop these. And, um... I, it was just looking like something. I was like, man, it just looked like something that they'd just do out of like a, uh, you know, when they if they like faking Jordan colorways or something like that. It's just a random colorway they come up with. But actually, this colorway is actually pretty fire. Um, when I wear these kicks, I like to wear all black, and then just let the, the 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 panther paws at the bottom, um, just just glow from the floor with this gem red on camera. It pops, but when you see it in real life, it's kind of a, like a dull red. If anything, I probably would have just picked the red up a little bit more, made it a little bit more fire red. But I guess this is okay for what it is now. Um, like the playoff 13, the white pots be all on it. I'm, I'm sneaker OCD and I try to keep them clean all the time. So, which leads me to hardly wearing them um, if I had the playoff uh, 13s. But since I don't got the bread 13s or the playoff 13s, this perfect color hybrid definitely did it for me and uh yeah man it's definitely fire nice new buck on the side crazy definitely a slept on jordan that came out last year uh after black friday but before christmas so it was in between the columbia 11s and after the uh 
bread sixes or black and infrared sixes. So that was Tuesday. Jumping in, jumping in on Wednesday. This is the shoe that uh, not too many be hyped about. I know don't nobody be really hyped about this shit though. But I wore these joints on Wednesday. Already got the on foot up about it uh, with it. Also got the uh, bread thirteen, um, dirty bread thirteen on foot up already. Most of these already got on feet up about it. Uh, on feet up, uh, up on feet videos. Uh, probably except for one, one or two of them. But I already reviewed the shoe anyway, so I already reviewed this joint. Definitely decide to bust them out the box before fall officially, officially take over and winter get here and stuff. Um, I know this is not too much really of a like a fall colorway or anything like that, but this is definitely still clean, um, easy to walk around in. Like I say, it's just for you know casual walking. I want to try to do anything serious in this, and this is the GL twenty six twenty Reebok. Go look at that review. If you haven't seen them yet, go look at that on foot. If you haven't seen them on foot yet. Thursday. Wore the Air Trainer Max 91. It's so funny because since I'm shooting my on feet right now, like none of this is probably not too, too spectacular, y'all, because y'all probably already seen it on feet anyway, but whatever. But this is just what I was wearing. Um, these joints right here, the Air Trainer Max 91. Now with the I don't know if this is the 2014, I don't know if this is the 2014 or 2015 version. Um, I don't know if these came out 2014, whatever. I copped them kind of late, so I don't know particularly. But this is the last retro of this uh, black and red colorway of the Air Trainer Max 91. The OG colorway actually is supposed to have, uh, I think it's supposed to have a red uh, Nike check right here. Um, but this is kind of like 3M like right here. So they did swap that out for this version. Um, other than that, everything else is just basically kind of like the OG. Um, but this is the only time they switched the check up, the check color. But, I mean, I wish they could have kept it red too. But beggars can't be choosers. I got this for a nice deal. Definitely a co comfortable shoe. I don't really too much care about wearing, t uh, wearing pants over the shoe. But with this kind of shoe, I definitely do that. Definitely make it look better to me. And uh, yeah, man, this that Bo Jackson classic, that gray, uh, that gray and yellow and white joint, definitely got to be copped. They also came out with another range of colorways with these joints, and this is the joints that I wore for Thursday. On to the next one. Of course, I already got a view on that. Next up is for Friday the Nike Air Tavis. Um, this color was actually sitting. Um, I got this for like 47 or whatever, but these joints is definitely slept on. You don't see anybody really too much wearing these all like that. Um, especially not this colorway, I guess. Uh, this colorway is not terrible or nothing. You just got to match it with the right stuff or, you know, just, you know, just have it go, you know, just have it go right with your outfit. Um, I know I'm wearing some bright colors, kind of like in the, in the fall, um, you know. Usually you can supposed to wear like the dark shoes preferably, uh, but I just want to get these some wear and that's one of the reasons why I want to start doing a sneaker rotation so I can make sure that I'm wearing all my kicks. And you know, like I said, this YouTube sneaker channel is like my sneaker diary. So it's just kind of like, um, I just get to keep track of all the stuff that I wore. Cause sometimes I watch my own videos too, just to see, um, you know, what I wore or whatever. So I might just definitely be like, okay, I, had, I didn't wear those shoes enough, you know, so they won't start breaking down on me. So yeah, Air Tavis, Nike Air Tavis, slept on, got these for like $40 or a little less than $50, classic. Um, do I want another colorway of this? Yeah, I'm thinking about the crimson ones that look almost just like this, except where the blue is, it's just crimson. Definitely fire, definitely a fire colorway. Um, yeah, that was for Friday. And for Saturday, I had to bring the jungles out. Um, this is this joint right here is definitely a fall shoe. This is something I'm definitely having my fall essential part two video. Um, I was kind of still contemplating on how I'm gonna do that because um, I did say I wanted to include kicks um, for my second fall essential video. Um, not too many other YouTubers really too much include kicks, at least for my knowledge. Um, they don't really too much include like fall sneakers, like for they um, 
fall essential videos it's just always all closed and no doubt it's definitely going to be closed or whatever but um also think a few sneakers you know it's just you know some you you want to think about some some you know get some ideas or whatever um if you didn't notice like some of the darker sneakers now around this time of year go for a little bit more than the lighter sneakers because obviously the darker sneakers are more so uh in tune for the season for fall so but i wore these joints though man um i actually paid retail for these i wanted these real bad this was one of those shoes that i was almost about to have a sneaker regret with man I, um this is one of the ones that actually got lost in the mail i actually paid full price for it and i was super salty man i was you know what it was probably like five bucks off because i got it on ebay or whatever but so i just chalked it up went to the store and just paid full price plus uh tax and everything and i'm so happy that i did that because these are like you know they was hard to find at least at that time um uh, because people was actually buying these shoes I, I thought people was gonna sleep on these and wait till they go on discount but these joints are definitely fire um now originally they came out with the nike air uh air raid 2 and that was the actual peach jungle colorway this is uh nike air raid 1 but if they do drop part 2 i'm gonna definitely cop those um especially if they come out in a jungle piece colorway because they actually got the piece and all that stuff and all that you know but um with this old new rendition uh, that 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 nike made up now with this colorway or whatever i like it i love it a lot the whole african 90s print and everything definitely a fire kick and to me this is like at the top of the list for nike air rays for me as far as like colorways and uh second is the duke colorway and uh go check out my review on this kick i reviewed this one and the duke colorway in the same video so this is what i wore for saturday so on to the next kick and basically what i wore today i still need to do it one feet on it also and i need to also still do a review on it so check this check the review out on this i actually had these for like since like 2012 or late 2011 um these are the Nike. This is an ACG as well. Definitely some for the fall. Um, this is going to be in my sneaker, my fall essential video. Um, you know, it kind of got like that camel. These used to be clean. Like, I used to actually keep them clean. But, you know, with boots, it's kind of, for me personally, it's kind of hard to keep boots clean if they're going to get dirty again. So, preferably me, I like boots that actually look better with wear. So, I would go for more like a leather boot. Um, I got some Ralphie boots too as well that I'm going to have on my fall essentials that I'm going to show you guys that I think will get better with time, you know, because leather breaks in. But this, um, I like this joint though. It's like a camel kind of like tough new bug here. I used to scrub the death, the crap out of these, man, but it's like, forget it. I would just clean them like regular. Probably put some waterproof on them. Got a leather interior on the inside, man. Crazy blue shoe strings these didn't come with blue shoe strings they actually came with this color shoe string the color that you see here like this beige colorway um but i put the blue ones in just to make it pop with the check the blue check on the side definitely a fire kick um well sne sneaker boot in a way um look at that heel on the back i might just do an actual review on this though just give it some private time but i don't want to keep y'all too long stay tuned for more videos from my channel, this is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. Follow me on Twitter at Nail Goodfella. Peace.